Some of you are not old enough to remember this. I was recreating the AOL dial-in modem. <laughs> right? Because <laughs> in my head, that's when Hamilton's message is spreading. And this is the beginning of like his genius connecting and spreading among where he's landed. And have you heard of this kid? Have you heard of this kid? Let's get this guy in front of a crowd. And so it's the moment it goes from just him and his friends to them on the turntable to the outside world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up is really a cousin to Buster Rhymes' chorus in Pass the Crevassier Part 2. <laughs> jump, jump, don't do shit, make my people want to jump, jump, don't do shit, make my people want to rise up, <laughs> rise up, tell your brother that he's got to rise up, tell your sister that she's got to rise up. So again, I'm, I'm pull, you know, AOL, Buster Rhymes, I will take whatever gets the song done. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now, all of those themes are so strong in and of themselves. Like, on any given day of the week, I can have an earworm of any one of those things running in my head. Was there ever a temptation where you were like, oh, God, that line's really strong. Should I hive it off and use it in a different song or make a whole song around that line? No, because you know what's funny is when you're working on something, you, you, you end up using every part of the cow. Like, it's all, gonna, it's all grist for the mill, and it all comes back around. It wasn't until... A few months into performing the show that I realized I am not throwing away my shot is the same rhythm as bum -ba -bum 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 -ba -na -na, is the same rhythm as the drums in the opening number <laughs> <laughs> of the thing. Um, again, like because you're constantly some of it is deliberate and some of it is intuitive in terms of what is and you start what you start doing is building themes for each character. You start, you know, I knew that. Hamilton was going to be very polysyllabic, but very relentless. Like, there's not a lot of space in his lines. He has more words than the bars can hold, you know? Every burden, every disadvantage, I've learned to manage. I don't have a gun to brand as I walk these streets famous. And then, like, so how do you make Burr the literal opposite of that? And so I have Burr just kind of... It's dance hall. It's never on the one. <laughs> It's like you can't get it. It's, it's much more um, it's slippery. It's, just, it's trickier. To, it's, he's got this dance hall rhythm. He's never going one, two, three, four. It's. <laughs> and again, now we've got like a rhythmic contrast. They literally have different musical heartbeats. And so then when you bring at the end of my shot all of those themes together, so they're all kind of interweaving as like a kind of counterpoint over the top of each other. I mean, how do you actually do that? And do you do that on your own before you show up to have it orchestrated? Or do you get to there and does the orchestrator go, thanks, Lynn, we'll take care of fitting it all together? No, it's, it's, it's all hands on deck. I mean, that's the, the fun part about working on a musical is you, you work on it with your team. And so um, in terms of that ending, Andy Blankenbuehler had input in terms of how much time he needs to get all the dancers, what he need, you know, what they can and can't sing, depending on how hard their dancing is. Um, uh, we're trying to find a button to bring it home. So usually what happens is Alex is at the keys, and then we're all throwing in suggestions, and we're, we're trying things. Um, I remember when we, when we worked on our first show uh, in the Heights, 96,000 was the one that, that needed the button. It was the Yeah, so anyway, you know. Um, but we couldn't land the hand off Broadway. It was just like, we're never gonna stop. And you'd hear like. <sighs> and then we really learned a lot about how to put together a button by just figuring out what strands we can take it. And then once I figured out, no tiptoe and we'll get the dough. And once we get, oh, that's a nice counter line. And we can use that and build on that. So you're kind of. You're throwing everything at the kitchen sink to bring it home.